This comet is what we call a planet killer. <laughs> there is a 100% chance that we're all going to die! Whoa, Jennifer Lawrence, take it easy. The government ignored your warnings in Don't Look Up, but in real life, NASA's DART mission was launched in November 2021 to practice saving Earth from asteroid annihilation. Falcon 9 with the DART mission, on the way for humanity's first ever planetary defense test mission. DART is the double asteroid redirection test mission. Dr. Denton Abel of the American Museum of Natural History says the golf cart size kinetic impactor will slam into a small harmless asteroid in September to try to knock the asteroid slightly off course. The asteroid is called Didymos and it has a moonlet, which is much smaller, that is the target of the DART mission. And that moonlet is called Dimorphos. It won't do much to change the moonlet's orbit, but it'll be enough to demonstrate how we can ship, move a body from where it is to some new place. And changing its velocity, this is a test of how we might deflect an asteroid or a comet that's on its way to the Earth. Can a comet uh, slam into Earth and damage Earth the way an asteroid does? Absolutely. Asteroids are made of metals and rock anywhere from Volkswagen size to about 329 miles in diameter. Comets are icy bodies of frozen gases, rock, and dust. Comets, if they're big, are very, very dangerous. In fact, there's a hit movie out now called Don't Look Up. Dr. Abel says the movie is justified in depicting the killer comet as relatively small. Harder to see coming, a smaller target if you wanted to actually do something about it. Well, it's not even 10 kilometers, that's tiny. Well, it's not. Ask the dinosaurs. Oh, excuse me, they're gone. If we know a long time ahead that something's going around the sun is going to hit the earth, we could go and paint it white as the solar wind and even as sunlight hits it, it pushes that body because it reflects the sunlight. I interviewed City Tech's professor Gregory Matloff oh, about, yeah. about, a, about a decade ago, and he was all about the solar sails. The solar sail is a means of space propulsion. It's a very thin sheet of metallicized plastic that is pushed by the pressure of sunlight. Basic purpose of a solar sail in this application is to move an asteroid, not necessarily by direct contact. One way that it could do it is simply by changing the reflectivity of the asteroid itself. And the pressure of photons from the sun bouncing upon it can thereby alter its orbit a little bit. He was interested in, at, at also in lasers uh, as well. And the, anything that can impart energy to a body can move it. What about nuclear warheads? If we can't do anything else, it's better to be hit by a bunch of small rocks than a single large rock. The size of a school bus, okay. The size of a aircraft carrier, not okay. When will we know if the DART project was successful? We will know very rapidly because we'll be watching and we'll see the orbit of the, of the moonlit change uh, with time. I have my own solution. Want to hear it? Absolutely. We just let the greenhouse gases continue to accumulate in the upper atmosphere, and nothing will be able to get through. <laughs> well, we see impact craters on Venus, and it's a greenhouse planet. Uh, so things that are big don't uh, care. <laughs>